My name is Risa Fitter and I am a 2020 graduate of Cashel Hall. The first time I encountered the Augustinians, I was probably pretty young. My dad went to Casha and we lived nearby, so I grew up in the community going to football games and plays and occasionally mass there. I can't seem to remember a time where the Augustinians were unfamiliar to me. The two Augustinians who have impacted me the most have probably been Father Philip Cook and Father Stephen Isley. They were both the first priests I had as teacher in seventh grade. I just remember being in Father Stephen's first hour theology class back when he was Brother Stephen, and there was one day I was having particular trouble with my math homework, and he took out his own time to teach me how to cross multiply. He then went away and came back a few years later as Father Stephen, and I got to have him for both my ethics class and my St. Augustine's Confessions class. Um, which was really interesting because he would relate what we were learning to were learning in class to shows like The Twilight Zone and Black Mirror. And then Father Stephen was the priest I always would do reconciliation with, probably because he knew me from such a young age and I always felt comfortable talking to him about anything. And whenever I'm home and go to Mass at Casha, I always make a point to stick around and talk with him afterwards. Father Philip, on the other hand, I had for Latin in seventh grade, and I was terrified of him at first. I mean, he's a tough teacher. However, you could tell that he could genuinely cared for each of his students, despite poking fun at them. He then went away for a sabbatical and came back as headmaster, which was really exciting. Of course, I would see him around and we'd stop and chat, but then I got to have him again junior year for Christology, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I had the opportunity to go on the Kairos retreat with him that same year, which really gave me a new appreciation for him. Whenever I go home and visit school, I always run into him, and of course he likes to chat me up about Villanova and ask me how it is, his old alma mater. Um, and he'll, he'll email occasionally and check in on me, which is really great. The greatest lesson that the Augustinians taught me was definitely community and the importance of it. The Kasha community is so tight, and I know that the bonds I made there um, through the value of unity will always be present. I don't think I will ever forget about the values of truth, unity, and love. I mean, when I think of St. Augustine, those are the first things that come to my mind. And those three values, I think, have really helped guide me through my life and have helped me to show kindness and help others who need it. Something really special that I got to do during my time at Casha was um, getting to go on the Student Augustinian Values Institute retreat um, my sophomore year of high school. It was just really cool and interesting to get to meet other people my age who went to Augustinian schools and talk about the things that we do in common, the things they do differently for their communities, and we got to bond through our mutual teachings. It's super fun now because um, some of the friends I made on that retreat now go to Villanova with me, we still hang out, which is great. If I hadn't gone to Augustinian school, I definitely would not be where I am now at Villanova. Kasha taught me so much about who I am as a person and really instilled a great work ethic in me, and for that I'm so grateful. The lessons I learned there really prepared me for the outside world. If I could give advice to a Kasha student, it would definitely be to make those bonds with the people at school. You all share common values, and you never will be with a group exactly like this one again, so make the most out of it and stay in touch after you do leave.